Shalom 1. All praise goes to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honors to the real leaders and the real teachers of the nation of Israel, the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also to the believers, the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. Now, the ox and the ass are considered two lesser intelligent animals, but they have knowledge of their owner and their master's crib. But Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider, and that is speaking of two-thirds of the nation of Israel. They do not consider their real owner and their real master. Here's the word consider. In the Strong's H995, it says, To discern, understand, consider, to understand, know, meaning have knowledge with the mind. The Most High have deprived them of understanding. Therefore, they don't know their true owner and their true master, which is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and our only Savior, the only mediator, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Now, the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 7 tells us, Wisdom is the principal thing, principal meaning first or chief thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding, because understanding is going to be the way that you apply that wisdom and knowledge that you receive in your everyday walk and in the times to come. So without understanding, you wouldn't know who your true master and your true owner is. But the ox and the ass being considered two lesser intelligent animals, they know their owner and their master. But two-thirds of our people, they lack understanding because the Most High have deprived them of understanding. That's why the scripture says, blessed are your ears, all right, and blessed are your eyes. But two-thirds of our people, they haven't received those blessings. The scripture tells us in the book of Romans, Chapter 11 and verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. And this is speaking of two thirds of our people because they still lack that spiritual fulfillment that they're seeking for. It says, But the election, which are the believers, beginning with the prophets, have obtained it, which is this truth. And we have obtained it through that understanding that the Most High have given us through his mercy. And the rest, which is two-thirds of our people, were blinded, and they are spiritually blinded. It says, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, which is spiritually slumbering, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So even unto this day, two-thirds of our people are spiritually blind because the Most High have deprived them of understanding. Verse 9, it says, And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. And a stumbling block is meant for you to trip and fall. Okay? And these scriptures, two-thirds of our people trip and fall over these scriptures. All right, because why? They don't understand them. And by them not understanding them, they can't receive them. Psalms 69 and verse 22, and this is our King David praying for these two-thirds to be snared by these scriptures. Psalm 69 and 22, it says, Let their table, which are these scriptures, become a snare before them. All right? And 
you sit at a table and what eat and these scriptures is the bread of life which is Yahweh Shai but Yahweh Shai has become a stumbling block unto them and they get snared on that trap or that gin which is Yahweh Shai because the Most High have deprived them of understanding that's why we have received the mercy of the Most High the Most High have given us favor by giving us understanding it says and that which should have been for their welfare and that which should have been for their benefit let it become a trap. It says, verse 23, let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. So the Most High have deprived them of that light, which is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai have not shined in their hearts. And that light represents what? Understanding. The Most High have deprived them of understanding. That's why they can't come back to the Most High through his mediator, and they don't believe in the mediator. There's only one mediator, as the scripture tells us in First Timothy chapter 2. In verse 5, it says, For there is one power, which is the Most High, and one mediator between the Most High and men, the man, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is that mediator. Here's the word mediator. The pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G 3316, Mesites, Mesites. It says, one who intervenes between two, either in order to make or restore peace. And that's why Yahweh Shai's title, or one of his titles, is the Prince of Peace, because he have made peace between us and the Most High. But two-thirds of our people, they don't have that peace. It says, and friendship, it says, or form a compact or for ratifying a covenant, a medium of communication, or arbitrator. And Yahweh Shai is only arbitrating for us, we being a part of those that believe due to the gift of faith. All right? And now we have understanding. That's why we want to pray for an increase of faith, an increase of understanding, all right? Because those that don't understand, they're lacking a tool that leads to their salvation. And as the scripture says, they are condemned already. In the book of St. John, chapter 3, in verse 18, it says, He that believeth on him, and how do you believe? Through the capability that is given unto you through the gift of faith. It says, he that believeth on him is not condemned. So we're not condemned because we have that capability, all right, through the gift of faith, which is to believe. But he that believeth not, which is two-thirds of our people, is condemned already. So they're condemned already. It says, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, all right? So two-thirds of our people, there's no way that they can be converted. As the scripture tells us in Isaiah chapter, chapter 6 and in verse 9, it says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, speaking of two-thirds, but understand not. All right? And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Verse 10, make the heart, and the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. So make the heart or their mind of this people fat, speaking of two-thirds of our people, and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So two-thirds of our people will never be healed, all right? They got a putrefying sores and wounds, which is wounds that cannot be healed. They got a wounded spirit. That's why we can't bear them. Let's look up this word, convert, in the Strong's H. 7725, it says, to return turn back it says 
to turn back to the Most High. Repent. And how do you turn back to the Most High? Through Yahweh Shai. But due to them having um, not uh, increase of understanding or a lack of understanding, they won't return back to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. They won't repent of their sins, all right, and be healed, okay? That wound that they have is not ever going to be healed, and that's going to lead to their death. That's why they're condemned already. Since we got a clear understanding of that word, convert, Isaiah 6 and 10 again, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand something two-thirds of our people can't do with their heart, meaning with their mind, and convert and be healed. So they're never going to repent or turn back to the Most High. And the only way you turn back to the Most High is through Yahweh Shai. They shun their salvation. They shun the only mediator, the way back to the Most High, to get back in good graces with the Most High. They shun that. And the Most High have given them a lack of understanding because he don't want them, all right? And by them having a lack of understanding, it comes with a penalty. The book of Zechariah, chapter 13, In verse 8, it says, And it shall come to pass, which is prophecy, that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And that's the penalty for the Most High not giving them understanding. And it's the perfect will of the Most High because he don't want two-thirds of our people. But the marvelous thing about it is two-thirds of our people will be saved in the kingdom because they're going to come back through those that have understanding. All right? It says, but the third shall be left therein. All right? The one-third, starting with the prophets. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And we're going through that process now being a part of the one-third. We are being refined, all right? We are being tried, okay? We are going through that fiery furnace to get all of the dross off of us so we can be perfected in that day. Lord willing, we endure unto the end. That's how we're going to reach that perfection. It says, they shall call on my name, and we believe upon the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right? It says, and I will hear them, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, The Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is my power. So we believe in those names, Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. And the only way that we're going to be in good graces in the sight of the Most High or even be accepted in the sight of the Most High is come through his mediator, the only mediator. Yahweh Shai said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that's something two-thirds of our people lack, which is to understand that, all right? But we that endure unto the end, we're going to be perfected. St. Matthew 24 and verse 13, but he that shall endure unto the end. And what's the end when the Most High send Yahweh Shai, the rest of the angels, accompanied by the way of 200 million missiles? That's that fire that we're going to be brought through. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That's why we want to pray for an increase of endurance. Here's the word endurance, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 5278. Hupamano. Hupamano. It says, to persevere under misfortunes and trials, to hold fast to one's faith, in Hamashiach. And how do we receive faith? By the Most High giving us his marvelous gift. Ephesians 2 and 8. Two thirds of our people, they have been deprived of faith. They have no faith in these scriptures because these scriptures has become what? A stumbling block unto them because they don't understand. And the Most High have deprived them of all those gifts that leads to salvation. 
because the Most High don't want two thirds on this side. That's why they can't be healed. That's why they don't consider. That's why the ox and the ass, being two lesser intelligent animals, are smarter than two thirds of our people. But we, being a part of the hopefully elect, we have received mercy and favor from the Most High because we have the gift of faith and we have the capability to consider, all right, which is to understand with our mind, okay, and to have sight, to be able to see, and that comes by the light, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right, which is the only mediator. And if we continue unto that, or in that, the scripture tells us, St. Matthew 24 and 13 again, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we're going to receive what? A crown of life, which is Yahweh Shah receiving us at his coming. And that's due to the Most High having mercy upon us by giving us those gifts. But two-thirds of our people, they shall be destroyed. And it's rightfully so because the Most High have deprived them of that. And it's going to be justified justified at the coming of Yahweh Shai for them to be destroyed. So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying death to the two-thirds, DTA.